Hi, welcome back. It's me, Stephanie. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, technically Sunday morning, but who's, who's really worrying about what day it is, as long as I get my videos in, right? Well, if you can hear the song in the background, that is Ruben McIntyre's new song called Turn On The Radio. You know, it's just pretty much saying, you know, you know that since the relationship is over, you know, Turn on the radio, that's all you, that's, you know, if you want to hear from me, if you want to talk to me, turn on the radio and hear a song about how you done me wrong and stuff, it's a cool song. Um, it's just, uh, it's been a really laid back day today. We were supposed to have a yard sale today, but that didn't happen. We're supposed to have it tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll go good. Um, you know, I was chatting online earlier, and this guy popped up, okay, and I don't really want to talk to him, I mean, actually, I try to avoid him, because he is just, like, so weird, you know, I mean, I mean, I want to, I want to know something, I mean, if anybody who watches this video and knows the answer to what I'm about to ask, please comment and tell me what the heck it's about, I mean, why do people when you chat online and you just want to have you know like meet new people and just have like conversations about what you guys like and what you dislike and you know what you want to do and stuff and then all of a sudden it turns sexual why is that I mean it's not like cyber sex is is the real thing so I mean <laughs> I mean I don't understand that I mean do you understand it because if you do please explain it to me because I have yet to understand that I mean, because I can be in conversations with people, you know, and all of a sudden I'm talking about what I like to do, my hobbies, and they're talking about, oh, who you've been with, and what have you done with them, and all that kind of stuff, and it's just like, are you for real? Are you really asking me that? You're asking a total stranger about their personal life? Are you crazy? I mean, if it was my friends asking me that, then I wouldn't care because they're my friends, you know? Totally different situation. I mean, you just don't ask people that when you don't even know them. I mean, how does that work? I mean, unless they're hot, then, you know. <laughs> then I'm not making an exception, you know. But they have to be good looking. And interesting. You know. I'm not just going to talk to anyone. But, you know. That might be hypocritical, but, you know, technically I don't, I don't care. Um... For all you wrestling fans, please remember that Survivor Series is tomorrow night at 8 on pay-per-view. Hoping to God everything goes right. I want to watch it, but then I don't want to watch it, but I can't watch it, so it really isn't an issue. Um, I'm debating on whether I should look it up online after, around 11 o'clock after the pay-per-view ends to see what happens, or just wait for Monday night, because I want to know what happens with Cena. I really, 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 really hope nothing happens to Cena, because that would just be messed up. Excuse me. Um, before I started doing this video, I was listening to "Stupid Boy" by Keith Urban, and for those of you who have no idea who Keith Urban is, hang on a second, let me turn this down. Okay, that's better. If you know, if you guys don't know who Keith Urban is, I strongly suggest you at least check him out and at least give his music a listen because he is just he's awesome. I mean, he he can play the guitar like no other. I mean, he's almost like a rock star instead of a country musician. Just by the way he plays his guitar. And um you know, he, he's always, I mean, on like, a lot of his songs, um, come from real life experiences, and that's what I really like about him, you know, he, he's personal, but yet his songs have a meaning, his songs are telling a story about, you know, love, life, breakups, um, you know, it, he, he's just so spiritual, so full of faith. And, you know, he's always, 
even in his sad songs, they've always got like this positive spin to him. I mean, it's just, it's crazy how he does it. I mean, he's, he's awesome. I mean, I know not everybody is into country music and that is like perfectly okay because everybody's got to have their own, you know, everybody's got to have their own likes and dislikes, you know, but I am a country girl. I was born and raised on it. I mean, my first crush when I was a year old was a country singer, so if I told you anything, then yeah. Um, yeah, I do like other types of music. I like hip hop, um, you know, Eminem. I love Eminem, he's hot. Um, I like salsa music. Salsa music really is because it's just really cool to dance to. Basically, I like songs that tell stories about life. You know, love, disappointments and stuff. I don't really like goofy songs, if you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, sometimes goofy songs are cool for in the moment type of thing, but I just like songs, you know, like if you want to call them ballads or whatever, you know. Um, so, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy. It's just, you know, it's a crazy life. Um, I am like the only person in my family who super dislikes sports. I mean, everybody in my family loves football for some crazy reason. Why? I have no idea. A bunch of guys trying to kick a, fo a little football across a field. I just don't get it. I'm like the only one in my family that doesn't watch it or doesn't like to play it or anything. But, um, that's just me. That's why I have wrestling. <laughs> That's my Monday night. You know? Um. Probably tomorrow, on my next video, I'm going to be giving a story lesson on how to write stories. My opinions on how to write stories. Because, you know, some people, you know, like, am I writing the story? Or how do you write a story? Or how do you get the ideas for a story? So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I would have had a poem for tonight, but I didn't get around to writing it. So I'll probably get one for tomorrow. Okay. Um, if I do decide to look up on Monday night, no, nah, I won't do that. I'll wait to tell everything on Monday night. Well, on Monday night about what happens on Raw and what happened on Survivor Series. Um, but yeah, this was, you know, it's late night talk, but it's also just random stuff. You know, it's just my random day, you know. Oh, my friend Ariel, aka Marina, wanted me to tell you that yesterday when we went to the mall, we saw this huge Great Dane in the front. You know, he was with his own, it was, you know, his owner had him, and they were sitting probably waiting for a ride, and he was just huge. I mean, my brother kind of made a joke, he was like, oh, I thought it was a horse, you know. <laughs> I mean, they are just huge dogs, I mean, so intimidating. I mean, he wasn't, you know, like, um, mean or anything, he was a pretty friendly dog, I mean, because he, like, when he went to sniff my shoe, I actually jumped backwards because it freaked me out. But he was. He was a nice dog. We all petted him and everything. He was he was cute, but the size is just overwhelming. Um, personally, I love cats because they take care of themselves. You know, I love dogs. Don't get me wrong, because my dog Smokey is in the chair right now. My cat Gizmo is in the kitchen somewhere, probably sleeping. Um, but I've always liked cats. I don't know why. But I do love all animals. If I could, if I was rich, I would have this house out in the middle of nowhere. And I would go to a shelter and buy every single pet in the shelter. So. You know, and I love horses too. But, anyways. 
um, before this video gets too long and I have to preview it and do another one because it's too long I'm gonna go ahead and go but tomorrow I'm going to tell you more about my weekend about what happens on my weekend and I will have my story lesson tomorrow so hmm. hopefully you like this video but like I said on the chatting conversation that I just had like I said, if you watch this video and you have some sort of an idea about why people do what they do online, can you explain it to me, please? So that way when I chat again to my friends and somebody just pops up out of nowhere and just starts talking like that, I don't know why, okay? But leave me comments and everything, you know? Okay, so I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Later.